And right. as promised, we do have uh, Senator Mohammed Hassan, who is the state coordinator, APC Presidential Campaign Council, Yobe State, as well as the coordinator of Ahmed Lawan Campaign Committee. Thank you so much for being on the news tonight. We do appreciate your time. Thank you for having me in the studio. Uh, I, I guess the first place to begin would be, uh, what do you say to people who say your party, the APC, is fighting itself? Machina won at the Federal High Court. He won at the Appeal Court. And then the APC, correct me if I'm wrong, your party took Machina to court and got this judgment from the Supreme Court. So it will look like an APC versus APC case. Yeah, um, thank you for having me in your studio. I think um, let me use this opportunity to uh, correct your introduction of me as being the coordinator of Senator Amel Lawan. I'm okay. not. Okay. I'm the director general of the Yobe State Campaign Council. Okay. And therefore, both um, the parties involved, that's um, Senator Amel Lawan and uh, Bashir Machina, are members of our party. And therefore, my role, it's uh, very simple is to ensure that all the elective positions um, from the presidential to the state uh, house of assembly are won by our party. So that's on that. Now, the fact, um, what's going on, um, this is my personal opinion, um, the fact that the party took uh, uh, the matter or appealed the matter in, uh, uh, up to the Supreme Court um, it was just a case of APC trying to say, look, we own this process. This process is owned for the party. Both the aggrieved and uh, the other side uh, are members of the party. So it's, uh, to me, uh, it's a very straightforward thing. Uh, in any case, there will always be a winner and a loser. They are both members of the party. And what is before us is to be able to reconcile uh, they are grieved on um, the other side to ensure that we, won we win all our positions. Well, um, you talked about, you know, being uh, one party and the rest. I'm sure the camp of Machina and uh, political analysts may not agree so much so uh, that, uh, and that your party breached the Electoral Act. In breaching the Electoral Act, a primary was earlier conducted that uh, uh, produced the machina, yes or no? Yeah, you see, um, it's, it's uh, Was difficult. there a primary that produced machina? Le let, me, let me be clear with you in this case. Uh, it will be difficult for me to go into the merit of this matter. And I will not be able to go <coughs> into the merit of the matter. As I said, my role, my primary role is to ensure that uh, I bring the two parties together we work together and we work for the party. That's my primary responsibility. Then uh, on the issue of being fairness, uh, of course, as I said, the party uh, needed to show uh, to the public and say, look, uh, this whole process of getting uh, uh, individuals to represent uh, the party at the general elections, uh, it's purely the responsibility of the party in this case saying um, we own the process and therefore you all have to go through the process and what the party did was to say look hey um, um, there's a process and uh, you have to go through the process hmm. <laughs> uh, in interesting in the process so, but, but why did you have to ha conduct two primaries in the first place one on May 28th, another on, on the 9th of June, June yeah. which the descending justices of the Supreme Court alluded to, that um, Ahmed Lawan, the president of the Nigerian Senate, did not withdraw, uh, the pass, count, part, party rather, did not counsel the outcome of the May 28th primaries, yeah. and said conduct another one on June 9th, which the justices said INEC did not monitor. Mm -hmm. So why did your party in the first instance have two primaries? How did Hamed Lawan participate in a senatorial primary and, and a, a presidential, presidential primary? primary. Okay. So tell us. Okay, the only thing I can tell you about this mm. that I know of uh, is that one of the primaries was conducted by the Yobe State chapter. 
That was the first one. The second one was one conducted by the National Working Committee of APC. That's why I said right from day one, I do not want to be dragged into the merits of this Does the matter. Does the United States chapter have the power to conduct a primary? That is clearly no. So Everyone understands that it is neither in the party's uh, guidelines nor in its constitution. So why did the NWC not cancel that primary, the outcome of that primary? And that's what the justices are saying. And why did I neck, uh, you know, monitor, monitor that, that primary? Why and did accept I neck, that. Why did I neck monitor and accept it? Yeah. That, that is the point. You know, in, at the first instance, in fact, that's a normal thing. Um, when a political party intends to go for uh, for primaries or congresses, it is standard that you invite the key stakeholders, the neutral bodies, the monitors, mm -hmm. uh, in this case, INEC, uh, security agencies, and all that. So if INEC was invited to, for, I mean, to monitor the first uh, primaries, and it did, it was its choice. If he decided not to attend any subsequent primary, it was equally its choice. But the point I'm making is very simple. I am here to play the role of a neutralizer. And you know what that means. To of get a, everyone of a troubleshooter. <laughs> well, I can see that it's like your hands are even tied. My you hands know? are... The, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, and um, in the sense that how will the supporters of mm. Machina, you know, really feel having... Um, politically skewed this against uh, the young man. You see, How are you going to really reconcile them, really re reunite them? Yes, and that is the responsibility that I have before me. You see, it, it's, it's normal. Um, they are definitely aggrieved. Um, I tried to reach out to, to him, but I couldn't. And uh, I will make efforts to reach out to him and uh, to see how we can bring him on board. It's natural when you lose uh, 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 such uh, fight, you'll be aggrieved. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll reach out to them because uh, well, I, we're I'd, I'd known Lawan since 1999 at the National Assembly mm -hmm. when he came in as a member of the House of Representatives. Mm -hmm. What is he still looking for? Having attained the highest you know, ladder of the and legislature, the, of the, the number three man in the country. You what see, more? Okay, let me put it this way. You see, sometimes people do not understand the gravity mm. of some political challenges back home. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the media exacerbated this matter. The media? Yes. The media I'm sorry. Um, the Nigerian media yes. again. In fact, even in your introduction, you were very clear in that. Uh, but you see, let me put it this way to you. Back home is not just about Senator Amelon. I'm not here to defend Amelon. And I said in the beginning, I'm a neutralizer. I'm playing a role of ensuring that APC wins all the elective positions, mm -hmm. from the presidential mm -hmm. to the state house of assembly. That's my responsibility. And that's why I said I do not want to go into the merits of this case, yeah. Yeah. I ha I'm here to play a role of a neutralizer. And I wonder how tough or easy that decision is for you to ensure your party wins. Because already, some describe uh, Senator Ahmed Lawan as a Supreme Court candidate for this election because mm. they say he did not participate in the process and now he has emerged by the Supreme Court as the candidate. Uh, I wonder if that bothers you. S sorry, I mean, what, what's, the the basis, what's the basis for that definition of saying he's the Supreme Court uh, candidate? What does that mean? Maybe I mean, for instance, the two dissenting justices, the dissenting judgment from the two justices mm -hmm. also alludes to that. That? That he, he did not participate no, in did the they process. Say, did they say Senator they Ahmed Lawan is a candidate of the Supreme Court? They say he <laughs> no, did not. No, 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 it's not my words. It's not my words. That he okay. is okay. a Supreme yeah. Court candidate That's coming from that judgment. People are alluding already. Okay. People are interpreting the judgment. Yeah. People are looking at the judiciary mm -hmm. side by side with the nation's democracy okay are they helping okay i can tell you yeah i love you see, maker. you see you see let me put it this way as i said back home back home mm. the the situation on ground back home is completely different from what it is being portrayed at the national level that was what i was trying to say to say look 
some of these cases are better are better looked at uh, in terms of getting every side on board. My responsibility, I will keep telling you this, is to ensure that we win our elections from the State House of <coughs> Assembly to the Presidential. That's my key responsibility. So I wouldn't want to come here and begin to make uh, comments that will further heat up the... Exacerbates the policy yes, as you I accuse like the, the Nigerian yeah. media. Yes. Everybody accuses the media. Everybody the, is, <laughs> the Nigerian media is always yes, the problem. that's here. a fact. But let's it's thank not you. a fact. Okay. It's okay. not okay. a fact. Let, I believe that too. Let's thank Great. you. We leave it right. to the public to judge okay. us always. You know. right. uh, Senator Mohamed Hassan is uh, the Director General of, of the Progressive Yobis Congress, UB State Campaign Council. I got that right. That's right. right. Yes, Great. Director General of the UB State Campaign Council. Yeah. Okay. Yes, and a member, or oh, sorry, the Secretary of the Civil Society Organization's Directorate oh, of oh, the Presidential And an equalizer. Yeah. We <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank Don't worry, we'll, we'll have to invite you here again right. on that uh, yeah. issue because Thank Najatu you. raised 1,001 yes. uh, yes. questions, She's my but we don't, have, we, yeah. we don't have enough time <laughs> now for that. Sure. Thank you. Sure.